All right, everyone. So the campfire chat just ended and we have a lot to talk about. There's actually a lot of buffs coming in the next couple of weeks, but uh, I'm going to go over all the points. I have a summary here. I wrote notes throughout the whole thing. First off, they started with talking about the patch and I have direct quotes here. We know it is bad. We know it is not fun. And they said never again. So um, these are hopeful words for me. I haven't really heard you know, most developer really say something like that, which is kind of funny because clearly they know they messed up and they know they didn't, I guess you'd say, make a fun experience for a lot of people. They did explain why they talked about how Diablo 4 is a cho about choice and they wish to kind of expand the options. Um, and so they said they nerfed stuff in order to give other stats slash builds more options. And in reality, what ended up happening is <clears throat> it just made everything weaker and there wasn't really other options right now because there's not enough buffs to buff those other options but they did mention that because of all the massive survivability and damage nerfs they're going to be nerfing nightmare dungeon difficulty which then would buff the xp rates and buff our loot generation so they're kind of buffing nightmare dungeons and that's going to be a today fix they said they also talked about how they're going to be producing a new content type in the future and this one's a funny one. They said they nerfed Sorcerer to buff Sorcerer. So they said they wanted to nerf the Outlier to buff all builds. No, man. <laughs> uh, uh, this is just... No. <laughs> they could have done this. If they wanted to do this, they could have done it in the previous patch. But you don't need to nerf the Sorcerer because they weren't even like a strong class compared to the other options you had preseason. They weren't bad, but they weren't like exceptionally strong. So... I thought that was pretty funny. Um, they also talked about how vulnerable damage is a must-have. They do not like this, and they do not like multiplicative stacking. So they want to make it additive. And I think this is a little worrying, but depending on how they roll this out, could be good. I do think vulnerable damage is annoying to kind of be in a build, which is kind of why Ice Sorcerer, for example, is so important, because that's one of the key vulnerable applications of the Sorcerer skills. So this actually could expand build diversity if they handle this correctly going forward. They also dove into the Diablo 4 mission statement going forward. They said they want a, a wide variety of builds to discover on all classes, new items and powers, uh, evolving endgame content with high monster density and it being challenging. They want to make the game fun. These are all great things, but that leads us into the future of the game and some buffs that they're going to be rolling out in the next couple of weeks. They said they will let builds be overpowered until they've actually buffed alternatives going forward. Um, so they want build power to be e relatively equal with some differences, which means that when you have like a build, for example, like Whirlwind Barb or Hoda Barb compared to like Double Swing and Rend and Upheaval, those are way stronger, right? Which means they'll probably leave them stronger and they won't nerf them until they bring up those other options. They will generally make changes on season start, and they're going to be doing this for going forward. Essentially, they might do some, uh, I guess you say, minor changes in between seasons. But they mentioned that they, whenever they do a meta shift, they're going to be doing it on season start. They're going to have exceptions for like bugs or game breaking things, which, you know, they're putting a caveat in here. So be aware. They're not going to be punishing players for trying to create amazing builds. Uh, this is a very key point that they mentioned because we basically are sitting here trying to make builds, which is kind of the point of ARPGs. Um, and then they nerf all of them, which kind of is sad. They're also going to be putting out patch notes earlier so that they can respond to feedback and actually make changes before the patch notes go live. So for example, like the hot fixes that they make directly after releasing a patch, hopefully will be done before. And so we'll never have to interact with those because they've already hot fixed it before it's actually in the game. They also talked about how the next patch notes will be next Friday. And in this patch notes, we're going to have Barb Sorcerer buffs for their uniques and aspects. They're going to be increasing monster density in Nightmare Dungeons and Helltide Zones. They're going to be adding a stash tab, reducing respect costs by 40%. They're going to be getting XP buffs in some scenarios, most likely due to high monster density from 50 to 100. They're going to be adding leaderboards for Season 3. They're going to be increasing options for Uber uniques going forward. And they're going to be adjusting CC they are they mentioned increasing options that you have to deal with it but also they touched on reducing the cc that's actually coming at you now some of these are in the next two weeks 
the stash tab respect cost buffs to sorcerer and barb monster density and xp buffs all of those are planned to be in the next patch in the next couple weeks that's what they said a couple weeks however leaderboards obviously season three uber and uniques and adjusting cc is for the future but getting a stash tab reducing respect costs xp buffs and increasing monster density and of course barb and sorcerer unique and aspect buffs is pretty massive and really really exciting and exactly what we wanted i mentioned in my previous video talking about how season one was gonna struggle if they don't add certain things and i touched on a lot of the quality of life features and uh this is not enough this is not even close to enough okay but at least it's something so you know we're getting something which is cool but they should be reducing cc now they should be adding way more stash tabs or other options they should be um, giving us actual quality of life improvements but i will say the monster density increase is a really nice buff that i didn't think was going to happen and also the xp buffs that they're going to be introducing either due to the monster density or some other method like the tree of whispers is also really really nice so we'll have to see but that's going to pretty much wrap up the summary here of the uh, developer campfire stream i'm optimistically hopeful but also i'm a little cynical in having any faith in blizzard right now because they just completely shattered any faith i might have had with them for that season one patch so they're gonna have to re-earn it as we go forward but we'll see what these patch notes look like next week it looks like they're gonna have another developer live stream or campfire chat on friday and i'll give you guys an update video then thanks for watching let me know what you think in the comment section down below and i'll see you all for the next video